Animals participating in this year's World Dairy Expo International Futurity were entered as calves in 2012. If you are interested in entering the Futurity for 2018, please visit the show office. Entries for the 2018 World Dairy Expo International Futurity will remain open until November 1st. Heifers eligible for the 2018 Futurity were born between September 1, 2014 and August 31st of 2015. At this time, I'd like to introduce to you the candidates in the class. Entry 2029 is Cruzy's Victor Gillette ET. She is exhibited by Gold Fawn Farm of McGregor, Texas. Entry 2030 is Jody Roscoe Shotsky, exhibited by Jody Capini of Tillamook, Oregon. 2031 is Arethusa Supreme Nor'easter. She is exhibited by Arethusa Farm LLC of Litchfield, Connecticut. She is followed by entry 2032. Eminem Nemo Shania, exhibited by Matt, Megan, Jake, and Levi Stuzel of Alma Center, Wisconsin. Meet Top Baker's Garbro S. Wishes E.T. She is entry 2033 and is exhibited by Blessing Farms and Garrison Brothers of Fort Wayne, Indiana. And our final candidate in this futurity class is entry 3082, Cutting Edge T. Adine E.T. She is exhibited by Ken Main and Peter Vale of Copake, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, your candidates for the 2015 World Dairy Expo International Futurity. in the 2015 World Dairy Expo International Futurity. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce to you our winners. In third place, entry 3082, Cutting Edge Tia Dean E.T., exhibited by Ken Main and Peter Vale of Copake, New York. Second place in the class is entry 2031, Arethusa Supreme Nor'easter, exhibited by Arethusa Farm of LLC of Litchfield, Connecticut. And the winning entry, best bread and owned and best out of the class, is entry 2033, Top Baker's Garbro S. Wishes E.T., exhibited by Blessing Farms and Garrison Brothers of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Judge Trapp, your comments, please. Well, it takes a lot of foresight for these breeders, exhibitors to enter these individuals as calves and get them calved out and put the miles they have. Let's give them and our sponsors a big round of applause for this great class here. Some different shapes and sizes out here. Uh, we're judging the show today, and the cow that I'm winning with today is the best uttered class, best uttered cow in the class. She's also the only cow in the class to be on her third lactation. She goes over the cow in second. That's only fresh 25 days. 
but our first place now just a little bit more width and capacity all the way through a little bit more drop to her four rib a hint tighter over her loin and as I analyze the mammary system for me it just appears to add a little bit more quality through her mammary system especially at the top of the rear rudder I'll grant her cow in second maybe just a little cleaner bone down through her hock but just want to see her a little longer fresh to get a little more milk through that outer to move her in the first spot today second over third the second place cow is longer and snugger in her four outer attachment than a very light colored cow coming out here in third third over fourth the third place cow just a little bit cleaner spells a little more milk from end to end for me I prefer her shape of her teeth size and placement over the cow coming out in fourth. And then four over five, the fourth place cow. Just an advantage in the definition of seam to the rear mammary system, the balance and symmetry to those rear quarters over the cow that's coming out in fifth. And then fifth over sixth, the fifth place cow. Straighter and stronger over her top line and a little bit more style all the way through than the big cow that's coming out behind her in sixth. Congratulations to our exhibitors. Again, we offer our congratulations to Blessing Farms and Garrison Brothers of Fort Wayne, Indiana on their Futurity win. And we thank Angie Selner and Transova for their generous sponsorship of the International Futurity. Our best wishes to Top Acres Garbro S. Wishes ET as she competes in the overall Futurity on Saturday afternoon.